Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. It's 539. Welcome back. Since staying at home is the new norm, we've been highlighting stories of viewers getting creative at home. New this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler wants to give you some do-it-yourself projects that can be fun and educational for the entire family. That's in this week's Weather Wise. Well, Josh, you know, I'd like to keep the at-home theme in this week's Weather Wise because I think it speaks more to our current lifestyle. And most of these items you'll need are typically found around the house. So the first instrument that you will you can make with everyday household items is a thermometer. We all need these. So here's what you need. A marked index card, and you'll see how to mark it in just a bit. Some tape, a clear straw, some modeling clay or Play-Doh, a clear bottle, and some food coloring. And here's how you assemble those parts. First, fill the bottle to about 80% full and add the food coloring. Place the straw about a half to three quarters of the way down the bottle and use the clay or Play-Doh to hold the straw at the top of the bottle and to seal it into place. As the temperature rises and falls, the liquid will rise and fall. And you can also use an actual thermometer to mark the temperatures on the card for accuracy. If you follow these instructions, well, you've built your very own thermometer. And also, uh, our next our next instrument here moves is measures air pressure. It's a barometer. Farmers and ranchers quite often have their own barometers, and you can build one at home to watch the pressure rise and fall as the weather changes. And so here's what you need. A clear glass, a, ba a balloon, a spool and a straw, a pencil and a marked card with tape, and a toothpick or sewing needle. And again, I'm going to have all of this on kxnet.com, so don't worry. You don't have to write everything down right now. So here's how you assemble this. Cut the balloon so it'll stretch over the top of the glass. Glue the straw to the top of the balloon, and then glue the toothpick or sewing needle to the end of the straw. That marked card gets tape on it, and it's taped to a pencil that's being held up by the spool. So here's how this works. When the air pressure is lower, the balloon will rise. And notice it will lower the needle on the right side of your screen to the low pressure label. And when the air pressure is higher, the air pushes down on the balloon and moves the needle to high pressure on the pressure gauge. Barometers are very interesting to watch when we have storms, both in the winter and in summer because of air mass changes. And these instructions, as well as directions on how to build other weather instruments, can be found on kxnet.com. And Josh, you know, uh, on our website, you can also find out in the same story how to build an anemometer, and that's an inst instrument that measures wind, and also a hygrometer, which is an instrument that measures humidity. Wow, very fascinating. And it's a, maybe this perhaps is the best time for us all to be getting a little bit more industrious. Thank you, Amber.